Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are continuing work on the produce section and we're going to be working on month nine. Month nine is going to consist of two different blocks. So one is the banana block and the other is the pear block. We're going to be making four of each of these blocks and it does look like the banana block is a little bit complicated, so we'll see how this goes. That's going to be the first block that we're working on, and I've got all of the pieces cut, so I'm going to go ahead and let's jump in to getting this done. Oh, and before we do that, just as a heads up, this is the produce section that I'm doing a block of the month. Each month I have been, well, almost each month, I have been working on this quilt and completing one little fruit as we go. If you are interested in doing this quilt, um, I have it linked down below. You can either purchase the pattern and use your own fabrics to make all of these beautiful fruits, or I'm sure there are lots of quilt kits out there that you can still purchase either from your local quilt shop, uh, an online quilt shop, or even from Etsy. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Okay, so I've got part of this block done and it was, I think this has been one of the more difficult blocks. So A, there were teeny weeny little pieces of fabric to sew on. You can see some of these square or half squares where we've done these diagonal seams are just super small. Um, the other thing is it's just so many of these pieces and a lot of them, being that diagonal square. So I hope that this is cut and sewn right for whenever we go ahead and continue to place it together because with all of these seams and with all of these diagonal seams, um, I've been doing my very best to not stretch it and to try and keep it as close to the proper size as I can, but it's definitely been a challenge. So this is definitely one of the harder ones that I've done. You know, I think it's turning out okay, but again, I have nothing to compare it to other than the picture. And so we will see as we progress through this. I think whenever I do that, because I think this is one side of the banana. So when we do that next part, seeing how it comes together will be, that'll be the moment. So let's go ahead and keep going here. All right, so I've got the top of the bananas done here. And so I feel like it's really starting to look more like a banana, which is cool. So I've just got this little corner piece here to finish of the peel, and then this block will be ready to put together.
Okay, so I was going to pin right there and kind of line up the sort of V shape of the banana. But what I realized looking at the paper, let me see. Yeah, so I'm also definitely going to just iron it not open because there's so many seams here that it would just be easier to just iron it this way so that we don't make those seams even bulkier. But the reason I decided not to pin is because A, one of the things that I have learned with Elizabeth Hartman's quilts is that sometimes things will line up on their own if you just line up the edges of your fabric. Um, and and so that way because of all of these diagonal seams and everything that we've got there um, and the other thing is sometimes stuff isn't quite what you thought it would be and so for a minute I thought man my my banana points here should line up with this which was obviously not going to happen but when I looked at the pattern it really was seemed like it was supposed to line up with this line so almost like this is a strip right here um, and then the rest of it would line up with this corner right here so this right piece right here and you could have so you could have pinned it um, to make sure that everything lined up quite right there but actually once you just lined up the edges of the fabric it really did line up pretty much right on point so I decided not to take the time to pin everything whenever it was just going to line up pretty well anyways. Um, and then I'll probably go through here and I usually sort of trim up the edges of each block just to keep it nice and tidy and as square as possible. Now I will tell you that most of my blocks are not exactly sewn um, for, for her dimensions but they are all consistently usually about of an eighth of an inch a little bit look an eighth of an inch or less smaller than the dimensions that I'm supposed to have um, and so I don't usually get too set on trimming it to size I'm just trying to clean up any edges so example would be like this edge right here um, you know this is about an eighth of an inch so this may be an eighth of an inch too big on this side but just trimming it up so that the blocks are a little bit more square and that gives it it just looks better that way and it trims up all of these little all of these little fly pieces here so there you go we got some bananas Okay, everybody, so that is the banana block finished and pretty excited with how that turned out. My favorite part that came together so nicely is this point right here. All of them ended up looking really, really good on that point. And I feel like that was for me just, there were a lot of diagonal seams in this block and so it was just so apt to stretch and you know all of the things that come with doing lots of diagonal seams and also a lot of just little bitty diagonal seams as well which I always struggle with as well to keep them nice and tight and everything so I'm pretty excited with how the banana turned out and that it actually looks like a banana which is always good um, I did confuse myself with this big part right here. So I had done all of this and thought, okay, now all, all of these were ready to go together and that was not the case. So um, just take note of that when you're doing this to don't forget this square right here. Otherwise, it's not gonna look quite like a banana. Okay, so I was hoping to get to the next one, which is the pair for this month, um, but I'm not going to be able to make it to that block just yet. So I just have kind of ran out of time. So I am going to stop here, but the next time that we work on the produce section, we'll be doing month eight 
the pear block and super excited to get that done and looking forward to seeing you all then. Have a great day. Thanks.